Hi, welcome to another Wearable tutorial. Today we're going to be transforming this into this. So it's kind of an arty ordeal. So the first thing we need to do is make sure you have the app if you don't already. If you don't have the app, head over to the App Store and search for Wearable. You can find it there and it's also free. Once you have that installed, we can begin. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is launch the app. So this is our feed. Uh, I know I always say this, but just in case uh, this is your first tutorial, if you guys want to have your own creations featured in our feed here, just remember to tag your creations with hashtag Wurble. That way we can find them. And if we think they're cool, we'll get in touch and ask your permission to put them in the feed. And that way the whole community can check them out. Okay, when you're ready to begin, uh, just press the giant purple W. First thing we need to do is grab a picture. I'm just going to use this one, which I grabbed with Pixabay earlier today. When you have your picture moved and cropped where you want it, just tap the arrow in the top right hand corner to move on to adding some art. So this panel at the bottom here is basically a catalog of the various packs that I have installed right now. Today we'll be using mainly the flame pack and possibly a little color trip at the end. So if you don't already have these packs installed, just go to the top of the screen, tap the shopping trolley icon, navigate to the flame pack uh, or color trip, tap and you'll be able to download those to your phone. Okay, so what I'm going to do to begin is I'm going to go to the flame pack and I'm going to start putting in pieces of flame and the idea is to mimic the rough shape and structure of the haircut with the pieces of fire. So one piece of flame in, tap the plus button for another layer, add another one and we're just going to repeat this until we have the shape. Uh, obviously this will depend on what you're doing it to and you guys can tune this to taste. Plus button again, add another big piece. Okay, so that's taking shape. What we need to do now is we need to work out how to change our bright glowing flame into something black so it's gonna match the hair. There are lots of different ways to do this in Wurble, but I think what I'm gonna do today is use the blend modes. Okay, so here's a new trick. Over here on the right is the multiple layer selection tool. If you tap this on, it allows you to basically select more than one layer so that you can do a whatever transformation or color change to all of them simultaneously rather than having to do them one at a time. So once I have, or once you have all of your fire layers selected, I'm gonna go up to the top, hit the uh, tool button to reveal all the tools. I'm gonna go into the blending tool, blend style, and if you cycle this uh, slider across, you get lots of different methods of blending your layers with the background image. So today what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use multiply, but I'm gonna switch this toggle on the right, which is the invert uh, operation. So it transforms our bright glowing flame into the opposite. So that, that's cool, it's still a little blue, so I'm gonna come out of blending, I'm gonna to head to the color and saturation, and I'm gonna pull the saturation down so it goes completely black. All right, so that's actually looking pretty good already. I think what I'm gonna do quickly is I'm just gonna do a few tweaks to the shape. Okay, so before we finish, uh, I was just gonna experiment with dropping a layer over everything to sort of give it a more cohesive feel. So I'm gonna hit the plus button, come out of flame, and go and find color trip. Uh, there's lots of psychedelic trippy stuff going on in here and we can try different ones, but I think this one is pretty cool Yeah, that does look pretty cool. I'm gonna sort of quick look at some of the others That's pretty cool. This one is pretty bonkers It's almost like a Dragon Ball style power-up yeah, I think for today I like this one But then I'm going to head up to the tools. I'm going to go into the filters. And I'm going to experiment with some of these. Magic is pretty cool. But wow, I think instant is the one. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to call that done. One psychedelic flaming hair art post created. So when you're done with any creation of Webel, you just hit that sharing icon in the very top right hand corner it'll render it out for you um, and I think what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to save it as a video 
no way I can send it to my buddies later. Actually, you know what? I can't resist checking you on Instagram. So yeah, tap the Instagram button, it'll drop it in, hit next, and you know the rest for Instagram, but there it is, playing inside Instagram. If you have any other specific tutorials you'd like to see, then please don't hesitate to ask below. Uh, if I went too fast or you're having problems following this, uh, I'll do my best to help out in the comments below too. Happy webbling and I'll see you next time.